on the banks of the river that runs through Chanpur in rural Bangladesh sits the Jibontari. Good morning. The Boat of Life is a floating hospital that travels across the country. And for a week it's home to an Australian medical team that have come to put smiles on these children's faces. Hassan, how many? 50, how many? 53? Dr. Hassan Sawa is the team leader of Aussie Bangla Smile. He's a plastic surgeon who's been working in Australia for the past 10 years. Each year he runs a voluntary clinic in his native Bangladesh, operating on the poor with cleft lips and palates. Surgery. My father, Al Coran, is part of that team. He met Hassan on a medical trip to Bangladesh 14 years ago and sponsored his move to Australia to further his training. We've taken a ride this morning. We've been on a bus for 16 hours to get here. We ride three o'clock in the morning. Barb Mitchell is the head nurse. My babies are so malnourished that we can't do them. It's her second time to Bangladesh one of the poorest countries in South Asia. And while she cares for all her patients, little Robbie has stolen her heart. My father died at childbirth and the father's looking after three children. Robbie has just turned one. His father, Ghazi, wants his son to have the best chance at what will already be a tough life. He's the happiest little pop. Even as he's taken into surgery, surrounded by strangers, Robbie is still smiling. The operation takes an hour and costs less than $200. And as you can see, we can do this operation with a minimal amount of equipment and we only actually need two stitches. For most Bangladeshis born with this deformity, they are ostracised from society. They can't go to school, will never marry and don't have a future, all because of their appearance. I joined the team back in 2007 and was able to witness firsthand the impact they had on so many people's lives. Back on the boat, little Robbie has come out of surgery. A tiny scar is all that remains. His father ecstatic. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're happy. In four days, the team has changed the lives of 39 people, ranging from six months to 45 years of age. Aussie Bangla Smile team will be back in October to continue to make a difference one smile at a time. Anna Corrin, CNN.